Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring Pit Stop. Today's episode we're going to show you how to fix the P0449 check engine light on your Corvette or more specifically a C6 Corvette. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. We're going to be right back. All right, everybody. Well, welcome back. So like I was saying before, the P0449 check engine light is a pretty common check engine light, especially on the Corvette. Now, what we're going to do today is just go through a couple quick steps and try to troubleshoot the most common reasons for that. Now, if you're not familiar with what the P0449 is, that is a check engine light that is referring to the EVAP system vent valve control circuit open. Yeah, not really too much to go on there. However, the P0449 is very common for a couple reasons. If it's EVAP, it's usually good to always check your gas cap. Make sure your gas cap is number one, tight, that you didn't forget to tighten it the last time you went to get gas. And number two, if it is a fairly old gas cap, just replace the gas cap first. That is a pretty common reason to get an EVAP check engine light on any vehicle. So therefore, I highly recommend checking that out first. Make sure you replace the gas cap, remove the check engine light from the computer, drive the car for a few hundred miles first and see if that resolves your issue. If it doesn't resolve your issue and the check engine light stays on after a few hundred miles, then you will probably have to move on to the next step, which is this right here. Now this here is the vapor canister vent solenoid. This is a canister solenoid that sits towards the back of the vehicle here. Now this canister is actually situated somewhere on the back frame of the car. So even though it is a pretty quick switch out, it's just one hose, one electrical plug, and then basically just mounting this back onto the bracket that's already there. It is a little bit in a tricky situation. Now I haven't even looked under the car to see exactly where it is yet, but I'll make sure that I show you um, a relative picture of where it's located on the bottom of the car so this way you could get an easier way of tracking it down. So I'm going to be jacking up the car. We're going to uh, make sure it's safe. So make sure you do that also. Make sure you use jack stands. And then we're going to possibly remove the tire depending on where it's located and see if I can get to it. And then I'll make sure I show you where it is. All right, so let's get to it. Now, if you've never jacked up a Corvette before, there's specific jacking spots on the car to do that. Typically, you would need a jacking puck to give you enough clearance to actually get a jack under there without actually damaging the body. What I actually have on this car is actually permanent jack pucks that sit underneath here. They're only about a half inch thick piece of aluminum that gets mounted to that spot. So make sure if you are jacking up your car, make sure you use a jacking puck that's designed specifically for your car. Okay, so I went ahead and jacked up the car. I have a jack stand on the back. I also chalked the front tires and the e-brake is on on the back tire. So this is not going anywhere. Once again, safety first. Always make sure you have everything proper before you get under the car. Now let's go find where this thing's located. Always need something comfortable to lay on. So right about here on the car where the transmission sits, it's between the transmission and the gas tank area and it's on the wall of where the gas tank is. So that's where it's located up inside. I'll try to get you a good view with the camera. the old one here and here's the new one so one thing you'll notice is that this right here this plug on the new one and this plug on the old one are actually different and that's why they give you this pigtail here so if you want to go from the old to the new so this is the connector for the new one here 
and then this has to plug into the wire harness that's already underneath the car. So you just get this little pigtail to kind of convert these plugs over like that. Anyway, hard part's done. Let's get the new one back in there. So, gone ahead and got the old one out, put this in the exact same place as the other one. We had to use that pigtail wire for the electrical socket, like I said before. No big deal there. Um, the hardest part about the whole thing was basically getting the, uh, the hose off of this one. It was, it was a bit of a pain, but other than that, pretty straightforward job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the jack stand out from under the car, lower the car. We're going to get in the car. We're going to use an OBD reader to uh, erase the code that's currently in there. And then we're going to go ahead and start the car. And hopefully, hopefully, if everything looks good, we should be without a check engine light. So let's move to the car. OK, so here we are. A couple things we're going to need. An OBD2 scanner. This is just a um, Bluetooth one that connects to a cell phone. In this case, we're going to be using the Torque app on the phone, probably one of the most popular OBD2 apps out there. Um, we're gonna plug this in, put the car on, not start the car, but just turn the car on, connect to the app and erase the code that's already in there. We're plugged in, turning on. Okay, so we're gonna do fault codes. Okay, now we're just scanning for fault codes. Okay, so there's P0449 powertrain, evaporative emission control system vent valve solenoid circuit click on here and we're going to click clear faults on ecu okay so check engine light should be off until we start the car so let's see what happens now start the car okay so hopefully you can hear me the check engine light is off um, typically with EVAP codes, when they trigger, they typically trigger as soon as the car starts up. Uh, at least it was in this case for me, even if I cleared the code, it would just immediately pop up on the next startup. So this is great. We fixed the issue. It was the solenoid vent valve. Um, so that is awesome. That was a pretty cheap fix, only about 20 or $25 for that part. As long as you can get away under your car, which as you can see, just jack stands and a jack is all you need. Go ahead and turn that off for now. Um, anyway, hope that helps you out. If you have the P0449 check engine light on your vehicle or Corvette in this case, could just be your EVAP solenoid vent valve. Um, so check that out. But anyway, there you go, everybody. Hope that helps you out. Thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to like the video if this helped you out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to check us out, techmotoring.com, our website, at techmotoring on Twitter facebook.com slash tech motoring. We will see you on the next episode. And don't forget, welcome to the future. Welcome to tech motoring. We'll see you soon.